Hello and welcome to Learning in Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. This video is for my Mac users again and this time I'm going to answer a subscriber question that has come up several times and that is how do I share audio that I'm playing on my computer with my audience so that they hear it on their computer? For example, let's say there's a fantastic video by Learning in Technology with Frank and I want to share that with all of my students, as you should. You can share the video, you can like the video, you can do all those things that help with YouTube. But more to the point, let's say you want to share an audiovisual presentation that you've created or you want to share some music. I had one subscriber who teaches music and of course it's pretty hard to teach music if you can't let the music play on the audience's uh, computer. So let's have a look at how we can do that. Now there are a couple of gotchas in here and those, uh, those are, I'll go through those in the video as well, but for most people this should work and I'll demonstrate it working on my system. I'll get into that more in the video. So let's go into the video, let's go have a look at how we can set up audio to be shared in Microsoft Teams on a Mac. Here I am on my Mac computer and I'm going to go into a website. Now the good news is I found a solution. The bad news is that it's not a free solution. So unfortunately I have not yet found a free solution for streaming my system audio or audio inputs on my Mac out to my Teams meetings. However, if I'm using a Mac, maybe, uh, maybe you're using a Mac as well, you can use uh, maybe professional development funds or you can purchase the product on your own. The product I'm, I'm looking at is a product called Loopback. And Loopback's actually quite cool. If I go into Loopback, let's just go into the application, what I'm basically doing is I can take multiple audio sources and I can push that out into a single audio channel. Or two channels here, left, right channel for stereo. But the idea is I can have multiple sources all pushed in to the one source without having to use any cables. So what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and add some sources on here. So I'm gonna add Microsoft Teams on here as a source. I'm going to add my um, microphone on here. So I'll put my built-in microphone on there. And you can already see as I'm talking with the microphone, that's coming out as an audio source. And then maybe I want to go through and add my web browser. So I'm going to add Safari in here. So now you can see, and let's just make this large. You can see that I have all these different audio sources. The only one that we're hearing right now is my microphone. So you can see the levels going in there. <clears throat> now I could, if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to play music in iTunes. I could go in here. I could choose uh, other audio, select an application, and I'm going to select iTunes. So any application that I use to play audio. So let's say, for example, I use iTunes. Let's grab this here. iTunes, not iTube, iTunes. Okay, so I'm going to grab, or the music, I keep uh, forgetting that it's now called the music app. But anyways, there we go. So we'll put the music app in there. So now I have all of these things. So for example, if I go into the music app, and I'm going to have to be careful here that I choose something that's royalty free. So I have all these music in here. I'll do a quick search for royalty free music. Royalty free music. So I'm just going to grab uh, royalty free music here and I'll just do distinct logo. So the idea here is if I'm playing this, let's just find something that's, I'll do this reality one. So I'm playing this music. Now I have the speakers off on my computer. I'll just turn it up a little bit. So I have this music going. If I go into loopback, notice here I've got audio. Here my microphone has audio. Both those audio sources are coming out as a single audio source. And this is very easy to do as you can see. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to turn off that music so that's not disturbing us. And go back to loopback. So now basically I've created this very cool device or this uh, cool thing called the loopback audio. <clears throat> I can add multiple ones in there that have different apps that I use for teaching. But what this allows me to do I'll just minimize this here. Let's uh, minimize that, close that, and we'll leave Safari open. In fact, with Safari, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop over to YouTube. So I'll have YouTube on here. So now what I'm going to do is go into the best channel ever, hopefully. <laughs> we'll do learning and technology here. Learning and technology with Frank. That's this channel that you're watching right now. And I'll grab some uh, other 
you know, um, some of the year the Microsoft team meetings on the Mac. So this is audio, right? So I have the audio going here, okay? Now I'm gonna mute, so I've muted my system audio, but if I go into loop back, notice that if I go in here, Safari is still playing. So everything that's being played out here in Safari is actually going out to that source. Now I'm gonna go into a Teams meeting and, uh, and, and you know, so you set that up just once and then it's there for you, you just go in. And I'm gonna go into, let's listen to a video together. I'm gonna pop in, I guess my camera's gonna come on but I'll turn that off. And we'll go and meet now. And underneath here, now I have a meeting and I'm gonna go into the ellipse here, go into my device settings, and I'm gonna make sure that the microphone that I'm using is loopback audio. So loopback audio is everything that's going out. Right now, I'll just unmute the speakers. Um, so right now, loopback audio is going out. Uh, my speaker is my output, so anything that's on my speaker, will, I'll hear it. And anything I say or anything I do here, all of this, this is what it's pushing out, including that YouTube video that's playing. Or if I put the music song on here, that music. So that's a very cool way of pushing the audio out. Let's go have a look at what it looks like to somebody else who's in a meeting with me. So I'm just gonna go to another computer and we'll, we'll have a look at that. Okay, just before I do that, let's share it out uh, before I go to there. So I'm gonna share out Microsoft Teams. So now I'm sharing this out to Clark, uh, which is gonna be Clark Kent. He's gonna be the person joining the meeting. So you can see that I've now shared out my Safari here. You'll see that there's a red border around it. So this video here, I'll just make it full screen. So this video here is being shared out to my audience. Now let's pop over to the other computer and have a look. Okay, so here I am on my Teams meeting on my Windows machine. I'm logged in as Clark, Clark Kent. And there's a meeting that's already been going on for a while called Let's Watch a Video Together. So I'm gonna join the meeting. When I join this meeting, I have my microphone, I'll mute my video, join now, and look what happens. And of course, if I have my team parts, they can be So I'm going in and I'm going to start... There it is. There is my shared audio coming through from my Mac to... There we are. And uh, I'm going to turn the webcam Okay, so let's go back to the Mac and have a look there and see what's happening in the Loopback app. Okay, so I'm back in my meeting on my Mac here. And what I wanna do here is I'm just gonna go in and notice that I've got loopback audio going. So let's pop in here. One of the things I'd recommend is if I'm pushing out any type of audio here, is I would go in and for example, if I know I'm pushing out the video on Safari in the YouTube app, then I would go in and just turn off some of the other apps just so that I don't get any interference and now you can see that it's just gonna be the video, the audio is playing for my audience. Once the video completes, I can turn that off and I can go in, now, I can put this back on, back right? For example, let's Notice when I choose to put it on, it doesn't play on my speakers. It pushes it out to the team meeting. If I go in and, and turn my audio on again here, you'll actually see that if I go into Safari, pop in here, you can see I can turn my volume up, right? And then if I go into loop back and actually say, okay, don't push it out, let's go ahead and grab it. So you see, I have a little bit of different controls in there in terms of what I'm hearing, what my audience is hearing. You can also change the amount of the levels. There's a lot of options. I'm not, this isn't really a loop back audio tutorial, but it does show you how I can add multiple sources, push it all into one source, and then have that one source as my audio output for uh, my Teams meeting. Okay, so there you saw how it was working for me and on my system, and I do hope that was helpful for you and that it will work on your system. And I'm a little bit cynical about that, I have to apologize, but it's because sometimes depending on the model of the Mac computer you have or other software, it can get a little bit challenging. So comment down below if this worked for you. I'm very interested in sort of getting a handle on this and trying to get it to work for as many people as possible. 
As always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos, tips and tricks. Uh, hit the like button because that really does help the channel get discovered and grow on YouTube. It's very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Here's some other videos and we will talk to you in the next video.